uh, most important about this job is uh, the sizing of the pipe. So when we do propane installations, okay, propane is pressurized. From the tank, it's high pressure until you go to your, wherever your unit is. You can run a one-inch pipe for 100 feet, 200 feet, even 500 feet, and when you get to the other side of this pipe, you still got the same pressure leaving that tank until it gets regulated down. On the other hand, natural gas is different. Natural gas is the volume, of, the size of the pipe you need for the volume of gas, okay? They make gas lines from three quarter all the way up to two inch, even three inch. So when you're doing the job, you gotta get a chart, you got to make sure you find out what the BTU rating is on the units that you're supplying, if it's natural or propane, and you go by the footage of what size pipe you need. And this short run here is about maybe 40 feet, one inch at propane, being second stage regulated down, you have no problem with the pressure. Because if you, ha you don't have enough pressure going to the unit, you'll short cycle it, you're not getting the right BTU out of it, the wound run right, and the life expectancy on the unit would be half of what the manufacturer is required. So you got to make sure that the unit's always running correctly, you got to make sure that the water level, which they do a water column test for the gas, is the right pressure going into the unit. So please look at the manufacturer's specs on any insulation that you're doing to make sure the job is installed correctly. Okay, what we're doing right now, we're going to fuse this coupling onto this mechanical riser, okay? We insert the two sides, and we wait until both sides meet, okay? And you see now what's happening is that the fitting is starting to spread open, okay? And it's starting to melt both ends of this fitting. What happens is at this point, when it reaches all the way down, we disconnect them, okay, and we join. And you have to hold the unit in place for about 28 seconds, and that will drive both fittings together. At that point, when they're heated together, you can never release them, okay? Always look inside the pipe and make sure that the fitting didn't close the hole by any way. See, like that inside there, it's still open and you'll still get the right pressure of gas going through. Sometimes if you don't put the fitting on right, the plastic melts in front of the fitting and closes up the hole. It happened to me in the beginning. Okay? So these are the things you have to check out for. Because when you turn the unit on, you say, I'm not getting no gas, what's the problem? The problem is that the plastic closes the hole. Just so make sure that the opening is still through, and you can blow air through it, which is plenty. Now after this dries, we're going to get the pipe and connect it to this side and we're going to be ready for the installation in the ground. Okay, what we're doing here right now is we're going to fuse the pipe onto the coupling and then we're going to be ready to put it in the ground and I'll show you step by step the right way to put it in, the center tape, the wire and everything to do the right job. 